everyone, it's Melody Lane here. Another video on the new design space. This time we're gonna insert some SVG cuts from svgcuts.com. So first we're gonna go over here to upload images. And we're gonna go to upload vector. And we're gonna browse, and I'm gonna browse my downloads. And I'm gonna open this one. Now with SVG cuts, I've downloaded this. So it has a folder of the SVG cuts. And then it also has these, this fun and games menu is this page right here to show how to put it together. It shows the measurements of how everything should be. And this shows a picture of everything involved, so you can see the picture. But that's something I could download to my desktop. Right now, we're just going to get the baseball cap. So we're going to double click here and open that up. And here's a picture of it. I know it's tiny, you can't see very well. But look, it's a box. Isn't that cool? And then here are the three SVGs. And what's in here? Baseball top and baseball bottom. Okay, let's go back because I want to just do the cap. So I'm going to insert this. And it already has a name for it, and it says cap three. That's the third part of the cap. So I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to do it again and do cap two. This really doesn't take long. And I know some of you have done this before, but there's something new in the new design space that you're gonna think is awesome. Okay. Okay, so now these are the three parts of the cap. I'm going to insert them. And look, they are the correct size already. Isn't that amazing? That's how it should be. I'm so excited to see that. After talking with Cricut about this, they do not claim that they will come in at the right size. I have found that only the SVGs from SVG cuts come in at the right size. Not all of the SVGs from other companies come in at the right size. But all the ones I've tried from SVG cuts do make it in at the correct size. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up this so I can see the menu. drag this over to my desktop. And I'm going to open this up. This is the golf bag. I just downloaded that. So once you get it all together, that's what it looks like, depending on the paper you use, of course. And there's the soccer ball. This is all in the same kit for only $6.99. And a card, tennis racket card, that's kind of cool. And it comes with all these extras. Okay, let's go. There's the cap, it's right on top. So here it tells you the size of how everything is. I did not download the baseball. That was in the other folder I showed you. It said baseball top and baseball bottom. And you can use this baseball for anything. You don't have to only use it with the cap. I'm probably going to put something else on the cap. So that's why I didn't do that. But everything is sized the way it should be. Okay, so now once you have it in here, let's go ahead and zoom out. Make this a little smaller. And I'm going to turn on the grid lines just so we can see it better. This piece does not have any score lines. This one does. If you can see these dotted lines, I'll show you bigger. These dotted lines right here 
you can keep just as they are and it will cut those little lines and that's where you fold. But with the Cricut Design Space and Explore, you can score it. Okay, so this you can change to score. It will show you all of these. Change that to score. Oh, that doesn't need to be scored. Let's go ahead. Actually, let's change that one to write. Just because I think that would be cool. Written instead of cut. Because that's the front of the cap. So for that piece, I'm going to have it go ahead and write it. Okay, so this must be the score lines, and we're going to change those to score. Now watch these dotted lines down here change as I hit the score button. They change to a gray color, and those will score just like that. And some people prefer just to cut it and do it, and that's totally up to you. But you're not done yet if you change that to score. Once you do that and you hit go, those score lines are not on the actual image. So if you hit go and you see this, what is that? Go ahead and hit this X. Go back and click this and make sure all three of these lines are selected and click attach. It's that easy. Now when we hit go, There they are. They're attached right here. See, these aren't attached to that one. So even if you don't change them, you have to attach them. So make sure, so this one says attached. This one doesn't have any extra lines, and this one does. So anytime you see extra boxes here, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to score. You need to click both, make sure they're selected, and click attach. Okay, so now they're all attached. That's all you have to do. So all you have to do is bring those in, go over here, change the score lines if you want to, and if you don't want to, still click here and click attach. But they're already attached, so it's not an option anymore. Then go ahead and click go. And there it is. And then they're, they're all attached now. And all you have to do is cut it out. And SVG Cuts has a video on, I think, every single project of how to put it together. So they make it so easy. And they're really awesome to deal with. Um, and if you have any questions, you can just email them and they get right back to you. If you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Thank you everybody for watching Royal Scrapbooking Retreats, Stephanie Chu, Heather Sommer, Sherry Kirkland, Lasagna Jackson, Sharon Pugla, Sharon Masuga, Ray Nisa, Misty Lewis, and Jean Williams Pettit. Thanks everyone.